Hey, love bugs, it's wrestling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And y'all, I thought I did this video. I marked it down, but I guess I didn't do it. Um, it's called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is unpacking the guilt trip of your past. You know much more now than you did before. And it's true. You know, there'll be times that, you know, different things will pop up in my my um my timeline of purging and clearing and you know acceptance and forgiving and discernment and mindfulness you know and there'll be different times where i'm like oh i wish i didn't do that that was so embarrassing or uh why did i do that it was so stupid you know and i you know and it would be something i'm like beating myself up for and they always tell you you know don't do that you know because there'll be a lot of times you know you'll be i, I ain't the only one who said this but it'll just be like you know, oh, I wish I never dated that person or I wish I never, you know, went down this route or, you know, if I would have, you know, known then what I know now, would retract that. And, you know, universe is always telling us never do that. You know, um, you had to go through these things to experience, you know, um, those situations, whether you did something wrong or you did something good. These are the things that you had to experience that will make sense for you later on in life you know there'll be different times where i've seen where i was being manipulated or i've seen how i was being used or you know i didn't know my worth when i see that people were just not respecting me you know it made me show myself that i wasn't respecting myself and these are the things that will pop up it's just like universe is telling you you know this is now that time for you to clear your, your clear your mind of that don't allow yourself to keep going down that path you know you're placing fear into your life where this situation you can't change it all you can do is accept what it brought to you accept the lessons that you had been you know given from that and just allow yourself to know you know so much more than you did now you know um because it, it's just like it can really hurt you know when you can allow yourself to sit back you know because we were you know at that time i can say for myself i can't say for everybody else i wasn't woke back then when all those things was coming in and there'll be different times something happened to me when i was woke but it was just showing me you know instead of allowing yourself to you know beat yourself up for that or you know talk negative talk down to yourself on saying how stupid you were or naive or i was blind and this and this and that you had to go through that it was showing you you know if somebody dogged you you know just told disrespect you know you have to understand no you you know your worth now you're not gonna allow yourself to entertain or tolerate those different things you're not even going to connect with it when it's like that with you you be very assertive about your boundaries what you're not going to tolerate what you're going to entertain and what you're not you know what you know what you bring to the table what other people say about you is how they define themselves it's not how they find you you know allowing yourself to not take it personal you know whatever it happened you never know that, that that's how that person probably communicates you know um and these are the times where it's showing you where you know where self-love needed to uh you know take place into your life and all that you know I, i've been through different things where you know if i see it now i'm just like ugh. but then it was like you know when it comes up it's showing you you know what did you need to learn from that situation what did those uh situations teach you what did those people teach you you know and it and it says discard that memory but just remember the lesson that you know how they tell you forgive and forget you know forgive and forget you know you forget about that situation that has taken place you forgive yourself and you forgive those others of whatever took place you know forgive yourself if you know it was shoe on the other foot and you may have hurt somebody you know and those things because right when all that stuff is coming up you're going through a karma clearing you're clearing your slate so it means everything is coming up whatever karma you're dealing with right now is from the things that has been taking place in your life that you may have done you shouldn't have done you know or things that you should have paid attention to or things you took for granted and these are the things that's happening a lot of times when we're going through a spiritual awakening it, it has something very traumatic that hits you 
at times you know if you going through that chain of event where nothing just happened to you it was just that time for your your veils to be snatched off a lot of times when you didn't have to go through things you know it was just a turn of events where it's you know just guiding you towards your path but i know a lot of people like me you know went through you know a hectic tragedy of where this was leading you to and a lot of times you try to understand why did this have to happen to me why did this take place in my life i didn't do anything and it's just like universe is telling you a lot of times you know you know what you have done and you know what you didn't do you know just because you know a lot of people don't know about what you did god knows universe knows they keep tallied up on that and you know you go through those different things but this is clearing up for you but this is that your purpose was leading you to be able to help others is going through the same thing you just don't know it's just like a lot of times you you come up in life you know you may have had a hard life you may have dealt with every abuse in the book you know what's going on and different things like this is taking place and you never know when you've gone through that healing you see you know you think about that when you start going through that healing i never want anybody to feel that way you know i'm allowing myself to be that person you know you're doing that self-talk you know i'm being that person where you know i'm gonna be that person i needed when i was going through a lot of things that's what the phone you know i'm transforming into i'm making being the best version of myself you know and you're seeing where you were, you know, because it's just like when I went through all my stuff and when I allow myself to sit back and, you know, sit back and really see things from a different perspective, you know, and this was what universe was unfolding for me. You know, I said, I never want anybody to go through what I went through. You know, I want to be able to help people because I had, a, you know, I had a lot of psychic people around me, spiritually enhanced people. And they seen that within me and didn't say a word, you know, and they had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with them you know plenty to do with them you know but then it was at that point when i started pinpointing things to the people that you know that that knew what i was going through and they were like oh oh you finally found out huh <laughs> you know and i'm just like that so you knew what i was going through and um you know all those different things so it's just like uh you know um you're going through these different things and it's showing you you know this is going to be a part of your purpose these are the things that's going to take place to not just be able to heal you, but you're going to come in connection with people that are going to need your experience for a cheat sheet. How to not just survive, but experience life. Live life. Because there's a lot of times we've been placed in survival mode. Just because of all the things that we have gone through. They're telling you to unpack that. Unpack all the dreads that you have went through. Unpack all those heartaches you went through. The deception, not just that you done pushed on other people, but people done pushed on you. You know, you learned a lot from those situations, but it's like a lot of times we can experience things and it makes us hard, you know, hard to where we don't let nobody in. We don't trust nobody. I've been there, you know, because I always felt like if this happened too close to home, I'm not going to trust nobody to come in my life, you know, and it was hard for me to be able to do that. But it's just like that that time. Where it's telling you, you know, not everybody is coming in your life to seek to destroy. But there's a lot of people that is trying to come up and seek and destroy. They hear about you. Your name is all out, you know, in the spiritual vibration. Where you're like, hey, you need to go do this to this person? Yeah, we need that person to come down. You know, we need to go ahead and make them do this, 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 and that. But you don't have people that's around there at the same time. You know, you always got good and balance in there. You know, the balance of good and bad. You know, these are the things that you learn from. These are the things that you're, you know, you're healing from where it tells you don't exist. You know, get out of that survival mode. This is that time to experience life, live life, love life, you know, because it's like every, we, we have to be able to live and learn through every day, you know, because life is precious. And a lot of times it's hard to do that when you're going through so much in life. You know, they tell you never be shameful. Of the things that has taken place into your life that is, you know, it is no longer, you know, existing. It's just that memory is still there. But if these are the things that you feel ashamed for, allow yourself to heal from that. Use vibes of discernment. You know, you may be going through trust issues. This is that time where allow your gut to tell your your gut is going to tell you. You know, is this the best decision to make? Is this the best route to go? Is this the right person to bring in my life? Is this the right person to love? Is this, per you know, all these different things. They say this is the reason why you got those silent alarms. You know, your intuitive and your intuition and your gut and your soul is going to tell you. Hey, no. <laughs> it's like, hey, think about that. You know, because a lot of times it's just that when we face things, like even when we're facing stuff now, things may be hard. Things is just not going the way it's planned. And you just don't know how much you have transformed into that. You know, I heard my girl on her, her channel say that and I missed that mess hit deep because a lot of times we stay focused 
on those outcomes that we constantly go through and those things that just really hit us in every direction and not knowing this this is this is only unfolding for something great you know and a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to see the positive when you're going through a day-to-day -day negative situation that's really you know that's really you know got you into that point where you're depressed you're down you're sad you know you're getting irritated you know because things aren't moving fast for you you just don't know you know you don't know what's going on behind the scenes a lot of times we miss out on our blessings because we're so focused on the mistakes that we go through the hardship of what we go through, how people keep on continuing to treat us, how we feel like they're getting over in life. You know, it's just like you have to allow yourself, you know, there'll be times I felt that. And it's just like, I appreciate that. You know, I really appreciate that because it showed me a lot of things that I didn't want, not want to accept. What was always there that showed me that, you know, these situations that I felt that I've gone through with a lot of people has allowed me to love myself far more than I allowed myself to love myself for for a long time it allowed me to know my worth regardless of what people say what people do you know what they tend to put out with the story that I'm like hey I ain't about to sit up here and correct nobody if you want to believe that you go ahead and believe it if it didn't come out of my mouth hey it is what it is you know I know how I am I know what I represent and I know what defines me you know and I allow myself to keep pushing and you know it's just those things I had to really allow myself to unpack that guilt trip that's just not a uh, that's not a flight I'm really ready to take and I'm not going to take you know and it was hard for me to be able to trust people but it's just like I had to understand you know God never said anybody gonna stay in your life permanently you know a lot of times people come in your life because that was their karma and that was your karma that you had to clear that has been going on for too many millenniums and millennials all those different things from you know from every past life you know these have been the same situations you had with the same people you know it's just same circumstances but they may be looking different and these are those things you're clearing out of your life you had to know you know the different things that you know so you know when to spot a narcissist you had to go through this when you you can see that people are gaslighting you or manipulating you you had to see when people are, are moving through energy energetic energies that is envious and jealous of you you know you had to understand where people you know they they were preparing to seek and destroy with you you know and it's like it's nothing purpose it's nothing personal with you you know, and a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to do that, but you have to understand they're playing their part in your exact, in a part of your book of life. You know, all of this is going in the book of life. Everything that you're going through, this, whatever kind of struggles, you know, or, or detrimental tragedies you're going through, this is all a book of life that is going to create something within you that is hard to imagine. Because if you're chosen for this, it's like, you know, a lot of times we feel like we can't overcome something or we feel like you know better things ain't coming we always see all these different things that other people are going through and we just feel like you know our life is going to be stuck like that and you know a lot of times you have to really get serious with yourself and it's, at times it can feel like God's punishing you you know to where you're seeing all all these people getting all these good things and it's just like you've been working hard for yours and you still haven't seen nothing manifest into your life God tries to show us these things. Well, God don't try to do nothing. He do. When he try, when he's showing you this, he's showing you, you don't know how many struggles that person has went through. You don't know how many daggone people have stabbed that person in the back. You don't know how many things that that person had robbed of them. You know, you never know that. You never know how many times that person has, it has experienced failure. You know, everybody has got their due time for a glow up. Everybody got their due time for a, a, a infinite blessings that's coming through. So God will try to show you. Well, God will show you. Let me stop saying try, God dog. God will show you things. If I can do that for them, what makes you think I can't do that for you? You know, everything is possible through him. You know, it's just you have to understand there's always going to be a balance to things. This is how we learn. This is how we strengthen ourselves. This is where we recognize our power. Because if things come to us easy, we really ain't going to know what to be able to not take for granted. We're not going to know what we need to really cherish. You know, savor those moments with people or these circumstances or these situations. You know, not everything is going to be gravy all the time. Everything ain't going to be always sunshine and rainbows. But you have to be able to take the bitter with the sweet. You know, 
And you have to be able to go through these things. This is where you show where your strength is when you're mo when you're going through your moments of weakness. When you're going through a vibration of surrounding hatred. This is that time where you place extra love on yourself. When times of confusion is where you need to stay focused and fueled. So these are the things that's going in. They tell you to unpack that guilt trip. Don't allow yourself to feel shame or embarrassed of different things that's taking place in your life. You know so much more than you did then. You know, and you're creating a person within you, a spiritual being within you, a powerful spiritual vessel within you that you needed in those moments of times where you were lost in your own transition. And these are the things that, you know, you need to be proud of, even though there's different things that may have taken place in your life that, you know, you re really wish you can sweep up under the rug. But like I say, if you didn't go through these things, you'll erase all the wisdom that you learn from those hardships. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, like, much love. Like I said, I did not, on the last video, I did not reply to any comments or emails because this was supposed to be a CS today because a sister been going hard for the last week and I didn't think I was going to make videos today because I've been recharging. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to your comments as soon as possible, so please forgive me for that. Um, but anyways, I'll leave my, uh, my contact information in the description box below as well as um my link to my podcast you know th for you to contact me it's all about spiritual networking you know there's a lot of things that you go through you may not feel comfortable with leaving on the tube of you so a lot of people either email me or they they find me on ig and dm me you know i help you know um and if you're serious about it i know there's a lot of people like hey Roz, can you contact me I, I do a thing where you have to contact me you know <laughs> you know I, I don't go I don't do that I don't go searching for it you know I feel like if you're really determined and serious about it you know please get in contact with me I don't mind helping where I can you know whatever it is uh on your spiritual network you know uh it, that you need help or just insight about or different things that you share you know I try my best to be able to help you know where I can and I keep everything confidential you know I, like I said I help out the best way I can um, and I also if you feel generous enough to leave a donation I always leave my cash app is there in the, in the description box below and I don't know if I said yeah I did say my, my link to my podcast as well yeah so I hope y'all have a blessed week you know be prosperous and you know keep Keep being determined in everything you do. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life. I'm sending so many beautiful blessings your way. That is going to bring a mountain and mountains of blessings to where it's going to bring you to your knees. That door is going to open and it ain't going to be able to shut. Even if you wanted it to, blessings are going to keep flowing to you. After all your struggle, blessings are going to keep flowing for you. Keep being consistent and persistent with everything you're bringing into your life. If the universe and God can put a creative vibration in your mind to just tell you this is how your life is going to unfold, trust and believe it's going to happen. Even if it just don't happen the next day, it's going to happen. So you'll see me on the next video. Much love. Peace.